In this video, we're going to have a look at the fourth exponential law, where two different bases are raised to the same power. In the first few laws, we had a look at the same bases, or one base with more than one exponent. But what happens if we now have different bases with the same exponent? Let's start once again by expanding everything. The exponent of 3 on the outside implies that the whole bracket is repeated three times. So we will have 3x to the power of 4 multiplied by 3x to the power of 4 and again multiplied by 3x to the power of 4. Rewriting this in exponential form, we have 3 that is multiplied by itself three times, so that is 3 to the power of 3. And the same goes for the variable x to the power of 4, which is multiplied by itself three times. So x to the power of 4 to the power of 3. Therefore, we can say that this exponent on the outside can directly be applied to each base number to get our values of 3 to the power of 3 multiplied by x to the power of 4 to the power of 3. Depending on what the question was, this can now be rewritten as 27 multiplied by x to the power of 12. The fourth exponential law can now be explained as follows. When I have one term with different base numbers, the exponent on the outside can be applied to each base number individually as shown here. Example 1. Simplify. Here we now have two base numbers that are being multiplied and both of them should be to the power of 2. So, we will have the first base of 4 to the power of 2 multiplied by x to the power of 2. Here the instruction did not state leave in exponential form, so the 4 to the power of 2 has to be rewritten as 16 times x squared. In the second example, we once again have two base numbers that are multiplied and raised to the power of 3. So we'll have 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by x to the power of 5 to the power of 3. Next, 2 to the power of 3 is 8. And for x to the power of 5 to the power of 3, I'm going to use the third law, which states that I multiply the exponents, and that will give me 15. Example 2. Simplify. Here we once again have two bases raised to the same power of 3. We have minus 5 and that is multiplied to x squared. Here it's important to realize that the whole minus 5 is raised to the power 3 and then also the x squared raised to the power of 3. A negative value that is cubed is negative again. The reason for that is when I multiply a minus by a minus, it becomes a positive value and that positive multiplied by another minus will give me the negative value again. 5 cubed is one of those cubes that you can simply learn by heart and know that it is 125. And for the x, we're once again going to use the third law and multiply those exponents. It is good to realize that this law is also applied when dividing. Here we have 2 divided by x to the power of 7 that should be repeated. So we'll have 2 squared divided by x to the power of 7 squared. So this will give us 4 divided by x to the power of 14. This law, however, cannot be applied when there's more than one term in the bracket. For example, here we have 2 to the power of 3, which is 8, plus 3, that should be squared. But we first need to add up inside to get 11 squared, and that is 121. 
if you incorrectly applied the law here, you would have said this will now be 2 to the power of 3 squared plus 3 squared. This means we will have 8 squared plus 3 squared and 8 squared is 64 plus 9. And this will not give us the same answer. It is very important to note that all the exponential laws are only valid for multiplication and division. Because as I explained in the first video of exponents, when adding and subtracting, it is the coefficient in front of the value that indicates how many we have and not the exponent.